What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to create this awesome fedora, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up Roblox Studios. If you do not have that downloaded, there will be a link in the description below. So once you have that open, go to the new all templates and base plate. And once you have that loaded up, go to the Avatar tab right here, Rig Builder, and make sure the rig type is R6 and Block Avatar. So once that rig is up, go to the View, Explorer, and make sure you have that open and go to the rig and right click hit export selection and then save it somewhere where you can open it up in just a moment so now just jump in blender if you do not have that downloaded there will be a link in the description below so just open up a general file right here and click a to select everything and x to delete it and just click this button right here and we want to import our rig so go to file import and wavefront.obj then go to wherever you saved your rig and then once it spawns in it probably won't be in the origin right here so just click off of it right click and actually you gotta click on it again so click on it and right click and hit set origin and origin to 3d cursor right click on it one more time and geometry to origin so now that should make our rig right here in the uh, center so just click in g to grab it and Z to drag it along the Z axis and then just drag it right above the uh, plane thing right here. So now if you just go into the material view right here, uh, you can see that the rig is slightly transparent and to fix it, it's just a super easy fix. So just go to the uh, material tab right here while you have it selected and just click on the blend mode, opaque. So that should fix our shading issue right here. So I'm just going to switch back to the uh, solid mode right here because that's easier to model in at times. Uh, so just click shift A and add a mesh and add a circle. So click on this button right here and make sure it has 24 vertices. So that will make it to where it doesn't have a ton of vertices but we also have a lot of quality with it. So just click G and Z to bring it up right where our character's head is right there and click S and Y to scale it on the Y axis and then just make it kind of in the form of a fedora. So I'm just going to click on it right there and click tab to go into edit mode and then click F. It might not fill if you're in like a, the face mode so make sure you're on vertice mode and we're just going to go back to face mode and hit E and Z to extrude on the uh, Z axis. And we're just going to bring this up a little bit just like that. And click I to inset the face and inset it to about right here. And then I'm just going to select A and G, Z to bring it all up so then we can't see our character's head. And I'm going to grab this face right here and click E again and then S to scale it down. So now you can see it's looking a bit more like a fedora. So I'm just gonna bring it down just a little bit more. Click I and G, Z to bring it down a little bit right there. And then I'm just going to hit Control B to bevel. So that's looking pretty good so far. I think that we might need some distortion on the edges. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So select this face right here and control to select a whole line of faces and I'm going to click control again to select all the way to this side and then I'm just going to click G and Z and bring it up ever so slightly and then I'm going to unselect both of these bring it up a little bit again and I'm just going to do that for all of these faces right here and once you do that go into the edge mode and then just select this edge right here to bring that up so G and Z just to bring that up a little bit and then we're going to do the exact same thing with the front faces but probably a little bit less potent so just go to the face selection mode and I think yeah we selected all the faces up to here click control to select a line of faces from the point that you had last selected and I'm just going to click G Z and bring it down just a little bit like that and then I will be doing that for all the faces like I did just a second ago so now you can see that we have that nice bend right here on the fedora. I think it's time to add a band around here. So click Control R to add a loop cut and just click and drag it to whatever the width you want your band to be. 
I think I want mine to be about this thick right here. And then go to the face selection mode and hold down Alt while you hover above these faces right here to select a line of faces. And then click Alt E to extrude faces along normals. So I'm just going to scale this out. I'm just going to make it a pretty thin band, probably about this width. And now I think we should just maybe do a little bevel and like right here it looks like it could use a bevel. So just click Control B. And I think that's looking pretty good. Now it's time to shade it smooth. So right click on it and hit Shade Smooth. And then in the normals, go to normals right here and hit auto smooth. So that actually looks pretty good. And this is obviously scaled up a bunch. Actually, wait, we need to bring it up. So G and Z, and we need to add a place where the player can put their head. So I'm going to hit I to inset the face. And then I will be clicking E to bring it up, then S to scale it down. And then I'm just going to bevel this, so control B. Actually, I forgot, since we brought these faces up and down, it distorts the bevel, so I, I bet that's fine. Just next time, if you want to have that beveled, you just have to do it before you uh, distort all these faces right here. And you may have noticed that uh, there's a little bit sticking out right here, so we can just select all of these edges by making sure you're on the edge selection mode, clicking Alt, and then G and Z to bring these up and scaling them in just a little bit so then they're inside the band. And same with this right here. So just G and Z. And there we go, that looks pretty good. So now we can start coloring it. And I actually think that it looks better uh, just for mine if I just bring the top up a little bit. So I'm just gonna bring mine up a little bit like that. So now I'll go to the UV editing tab and click open and just open a palette. And there will be a link to this in the description below. So you can just screenshot this off of the video right here and then just open it up. Let's set the material for this. So go into the material tab while you're in, while you're tabbed into the object and click new. And then make the base color a image texture and open up the palette that we have. So now we can just start texturing and this is gonna be super easy. Just hold Alt, on the outside of the band and then do the same for the top of the band and then U unwrap and while your cursor is on this side of the screen click A S 0 to select everything that's in this side scale it down to a 0 which is just a vertice so I want mine to be blue right here and if I want to see the result I can just go over to the uh, material tab I want everything else to just be white so I would just be hitting control I and U, unwrap, and A, S, zero. And I just want this to be up there. So now we have our awesome blue and white fedora. And to simply export that back to Roblox, let's just go back to the modeling tab. While you have it selected, go to file, export, wavefront.obj, and then limit to selection only because we want to only import our fedora, not the character, and just save it somewhere where you can open it like we did the rig just jump back into roblox studios if you still have the level open that's completely fine so i will be clicking command i and search for a mesh part it may be control i if you are on windows and go to the properties tab while you have the part selected so just go to the view and make sure the properties are open and change the mesh id to wherever you saved your mesh as and then just click open and no. And now I have my fedora right here. Yours may be transparent. If so, you want to check double sided. It's just that's a very common issue, uh, but it's a very simple fix. So I'm going to import a rig and I'm just going to drag the, drag the fedora onto the rig and get it scaled correctly. And you can scale it by using the these four buttons right here. And if your move is off, you can go to the model and change the move right here. And if you don't just wanna scale one part of the mesh, you can hold shift and scale it up like that. That wraps up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.